Hello guys, my name is Bernardo. My name is Manuela, and this is our first YouTube video. As you can see below, our name is MVP Together. If you want to know more about us, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Hi again. So I was, I'm going to start telling you about my story, and how did I get right now to fitness. Currently, I am 20 years old. I live in Ecuador. I'm Ecuadorian, and everything started well. First, my life has never been surrounded by sports. My family never told me to do any sports. I went into school and sometimes I tried it, but it was total failure. I just sucked at everything. I sucked at, at football, at soccer, at everything. I didn't frisbee, I think. <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't do anything with the sports. So then I went, I went through my high school and my middle school, middle school. And at the end of middle school, I got diagnosed with this disease that was, I fainted a lot, I started to faint and I couldn't go out anymore, I couldn't like live a life of a normal teenager. So I got really frustrated, I started to eat, I started to become fat each time because I didn't want to do anything because I felt like I have no control over my life, I couldn't do sports, I wasn't good, I was never chosen for anything, so I just started to lay down in my bed and watch series I remember watching Game of Thrones and everything and high school came I left myself into like this misery but at the end I just tried it again and tried it again and tried it again to get out of this but life became really hard for me and I couldn't make almost any friends after it because I couldn't go out and I started to lose control of my life, I started to lose control of my body, my mind and there was a time in which I was really really lonely, I felt lonely, I felt like I had nothing to do, nothing to achieve, nothing to pursue that's why I tried to turn into sports yeah. Hello guys, uh, it's me Bernardo again my story is a little bit different, I have always practiced sports since I was a kid uh, my father played tennis and he always wanted to me to play with him. Uh, I started playing tennis when I was six years old and at first it was really, really nice. I made new friends, I, I didn't spend all the time in my house, but I didn't get passionate about it. I, I really don't like it later. Uh, and it was because I, 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 don't, I didn't feel that connection, connection you need to, to do something good in your life. So when I was nine, uh, I stopped playing. I said, my father, this is not for me, sorry. And I found another sport, capoeira. It's a mix of martial arts, dance, and acrobatics. And I fell in love with it. I really, really, really like it. And I suck at it at first. My brother and my sister told me that stop doing it. I was really bad. But I didn't listen to them because I really liked it. So I start training a lot more. I start training four times per week, and it was really nice. Uh, later, when I was 14, I was really good at it. I improved a lot, and I get inspired because I noticed that I inspired a lot of people. People of 22, 23 years old uh, start asking me for questions about how you do this moving, how you do this kick, and it was really nice. Later, I realized that. Uh, I want to, de to do this for life, I want to do capoeira for life, but it was really 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 hard to live just doing capoeira, it's not a well paid uh, sport, and I got disappointed because I said, well, if I do capoeira for a living, I'm not going to, go to do good money, I can, I don't know, teach 5 classes per day, but it's going to be really really hard, really really tired, so I get disappointed uh, a little and I was asking myself, I have to find something that connects with Capoeira to do what I want to do in life, inspire people like I started inspiring with Capoeira and from living just doing sport, that is something that I There was. was a change in my life afterwards. I went into college here in Ecuador and I, I saw that I finally had an opportunity to become like having like this control over my life a better like I could do anything I could in the university I could choose my classes and everything so I chose to be a different person I chose to be 
a different me. So I said, okay, let's start doing sports. And I got into gymnastics, especially into trampolines, and into capoeira, which Bernardo already explained. And this really changed my life because I started to find like this happiness in sports. Like I felt I was so like into it. I felt I was happy. I felt I had like something to do. I was everything like all the day. I was just like going to capoeira classes and just training at first. The, the, it was the first time I was good at something, so I became like really enthusi enthusiastic with this. And this started to change my life. Then I met Bernardo in Capoeira, <laughs> and we started seeing each other, we started to eat a lot. That was a really, really big problem in our relationship at first because we only ate, and we started to let uh, like our physical activity, all of our trainments, all, all of this, we lost all of this because we just wanted to eat. Afterwards, then Bernardo started to train a lot, and he, in the process, helped me to like start into other sports that could also help me like lose the weight I had gained again. So I tried a lot of things. I tried HIIT or HIT uh, cardio. I hated it. I didn't work for it. So I started to become demotivated. But like the semester passed. And one day Bernardo told me like you should come to gym with me like it will really like you could really like it you could get into it it's really nice and I said like okay let's try it and I went to the gym with him and I just love it it was like love at first sight I love the lifts as soon as I lift I just felt like I had no one to compare myself with just myself I I was so happy at this and since that day I just said like I want to do this for the rest of my life. I like I want to be fit. I like want to be this new person in my life. I really got to enjoy this a lot. So as Manuela said, uh, we started university. I didn't meet her a lot at, at all before this. And I returned to Capoeira because I left it about six months or a little bit more because I was a uh, I started drinking a lot with my friends in school. Uh, it was really really bad time because I stopped doing what I love, my passion. But when I re started university I returned to Capoeira and a few months later my teacher uh, said to me that I can start giving classes. So it was really really nice. I, I started uh, giving classes and I get in love with the process because I noticed, I realized that I was inspiring people. I was inspiring them by doing the one thing that I love. I, uh, I get in that passion, I lose it for a time with Capoeira, uh, again, I found that passion. At the same time, I was uh, going to the gym, but I was not uh, really constant because I, I, all the things that was happening in my life, I start training Capoeira again, I start giving classes, I start uh, my relationship with Manuela that, as she said, we were eating a lot, and I have my homework from university. So I didn't have much time, or I didn't organize well. Uh, but one day I realized that I really love to go into the gym, lift, and I said to myself, maybe this is the, the one thing that you were missing to do what you love and start inspiring people again. So uh, I said, well, let's start lifting more, go more to the gym, at least four times, Five times, uh, five times per week. So I start doing it, and I get in love. I found that same passion that I had for, cap uh, for capoeira at the gym. So I started training more. I started gaining some weight, uh, add some muscles because I was really, really, really skinny. And I found that I needed this because I have to complement capoeira with something to do the one thing that I love: inspire people. Well, so we started training uh, together uh, and at first it was really nice but then we realized we, don't, we didn't have many uh, routines to do so we started searching for athletes. At first we found Mark Fit, he really inspired us, he's amazing so we started searching for his videos and of course he's a Gymshark athlete and that connects us with Gymshark. It was amazing because Jim Shark, we, we, well, we first <laughs> saw Jim Shark in the videos 
and we saw the My Vision videos, and it was so inspiring. Like we saw Nikki Blackadder's video, we saw Steve Cook's video, we saw Lex's video, and we just got so motivated. And we said, like, we want this. We want to motivate our people. Like we got so excited with it. So we realized that what we want to do in life is to help people to be healthy, inspire them to not only be healthier or fit, to follow the dreams that we want now. We want to be like them, not the same person in our country, in our way, uh, but to motivate people to do what they want in life. She studies uh, culinary cool. arts, I study uh, business, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So uh, we can do something cool with Capoeira, uh, the gym. So we want you to follow us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment if it's if you like it on instagram and twitter <laughs> facebook everything <laughs> and we fit together thank you